Hello guys, I'm the Codeholic and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to create a pure CSS of Canvas menu. We are not going to use JavaScript, this will be just HTML, CSS and some Google fonts. Okay, and this is the menu what we're going to achieve. Let's start. Okay, I'm going to create index.html and generate boilerplate code create style CSS and include in my HTML. Uh, I'm going to search uh, and use Roboto font. And select it. Okay, so we have CSS, we have HTML, and we can start building. First of all, I'm going to create HTML structure. So we're going to have a one wrapper div, which will contain everything. We're going to have header. Um, we're going to have content and menu. Okay, and the content will basically have some lorem ipsum text. And the menu will have an ordered list with Lee and A items. Okay. Uh, home, about us, and portfolio. Um, in the header, we're going to create an input type checkbox. And the checkbox is basically what, um, what will work and what will do the main thing. So we aren't going to use JavaScript, so the checkbox will be used uh, to define, to decide when the of Canvas menu should be uh, visible or hidden. Okay, so we're gonna create input type checkbox, uh, which will have ID toggle, and I'm gonna create also a label inside inside header so i'm going to create this checkbox in the wrapper directly and inside header i'm going to create um inside header i'm going to create a label which will be for toggle and i'm going to create uh three span elements for uh, the hamburger menu okay let me open this html file with live server Okay, here is our HTML, and that's basically it for HTML. Now we need to work with uh, with CSS. Okay, so I'm gonna first define a box sizing border box on all elements, and I'm gonna define uh, padding and margin zero on body. Um, I'm gonna also use font family. Roboto and Roboto and Sans Serif. Okay, so that's that's it for general styling. Now we can start with um, header, and for header, I'm going to define some background color. Uh, background color, which will be like light gray color, something like. Um, e d d e d okay and i'm going to define padding which will be 15 pixel 30 pixel um, and i'm going to define display flex and for airline items i'm going to show them center so basically the header has um, label inside it and i'm going to show this label in the center Okay, for the label, so label, which has attribute for toggle, we're going to define some other styles like cursor pointer. So um, cursor should be pointer. Um, we're going to display, uh, we're going to say display flex also on this uh, with flex direction column so that the um, spans to be visible as, as columns okay 
uh, we will get back to the styles of this label but let's start styling of the span elements okay so for span we need to define um, first of all we need to give display block and we need to define um, uh, height like 4 pixel and background color also this background color should should be a gray color something like um, 6c 6c okay and let's see the result we don't see it okay uh, because we don't have maybe a width okay so let's give it width which will be uh, like 30 pixel width okay and here we see um, here we see span elements and let's give a little bit border radius to see it um, rounded like two pixel border radius and we need to give the height now to the label also uh, height 30 pixel okay so height is 30 pixel okay uh, why the height is not changed um, okay yeah we need to uh, give it just uh, justify content um, space space uh, between okay and here it is okay let's reduce height a little bit because it looks a little bit ugly or let me increase the width something like 36 pixel okay yeah that's better um, we need to hide this checkbox by the way so uh, we need to for toggle we need to set display none so the checkbox is not visible but whenever um, we click on the label the checkbox is basically checked and unchecked so we can see this um, so the checkbox is checked and unchecked and depending on the checkbox state we need to change some things in menu and content and so on so I'm gonna um, set the display none on the toggle and so below I'm gonna write when the toggle is checked um, for um, for content I'm gonna um, change its um, position so let's first uh, define a, a position relative on the content with left coordinate 0 and for toggle check the content should change its um, a left coordinate into something like 240 pixel okay so the content it doesn't change yeah that's because we have here a child selector we need to use adjacent uh, sibling selector and that's it yeah it changes its position um, let's add um, tran transition 0. Um, three second on left coordinate so it should animate smoothly that's it and we want to do something similar on on menu okay first we need to style the menu itself so the menu should have position position fixed with a left coordinate zero and top coordinate also zero and bottom coordinate also zero and we need to give it width 240 pixel okay and let's give it background color something like bluish darkish um, I don't know let's give it um, like four four five five six six okay I don't know what is this color that that's that's how it looks like um, okay so this is the menu and uh, let's change it a little bit I don't like the color let's make it more bluish okay yeah let's choose this one okay and now we need to change the style of the unordered list so for menu unordered list we need to uh, remove padding and margin and this is how it will look like 
we need to remove a um, list style and let's move on on um, on list a elements okay so we can use a direct selectors also right here for a element we need to set display into block and change its padding into something like 15 pixel and 20 pixel okay and we need to change also color into white okay so this is how it looks like let's remove text decoration and let's set it to none and we need to define a hover color okay so on mouse over we need to uh, change background color background uh, color will be something similar to this color but a little bit darker okay so something like this one okay so let's revert this take the color okay and let's change into a little bit darker color okay so let's save it and this is how it happens on mouse over okay that's great but we want this menu to be hidden by default and only uh, show up when we click on the hamburger button okay so the menu has position fixed and we need to change the left coordinate into minus 240 pixel okay and uh, whenever the toggle is checked we need to change the left coordinate of the menu also as we do for the content so left coordinate becomes zero this is how it happens and we need to uh, add transition also for this menu to smoothly animate transition uh, 0 0.3 second on left coordinate okay let's refresh the page and now the menu opens uh, smoothly and we need to show up this uh, this hamburger button because to be able to close the menu also okay so we need to change the position of the header also when the toggle is checked okay we did for content we did for menu and we need to do the same thing for header the header should have also position relative okay let's define this header should have position relative and the left coordinate should be zero and we need to add transition okay and in when the menu is checked we need to change the left coordinate into 240 okay so this is basically how it looks like when the menu is checked so the menu is opened click menu is closed let's add a little bit more um, yeah we don't have padding at all let's add padding here padding something like um, 30 pixel on the content this is my content so that the button and the content are on the same line so I click it and let's remove this horizontal scroll also so the horizontal scroll appears because the content is large in width so for so for header and for content when the toggle is checked so let me copy this so for header and for content when the when the toggle is checked we need to change its width so width should be 100% um, minus the width of the menu okay and this is how it looks like let me remove the developer tools refresh the page this is the page menu opens and yeah we need to also animate the width so for transition uh, here is the transition on the header and on content so let's change this left into uh, all okay let's do it simply so we have it for all so menu opens and I think that's all so we have this smoothly animating uh, of canvas menu with pure CSS that's it guys thanks for watching if you find this video useful hit the like subscribe buttons and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this 
Thank you guys and see you in the next time.